Hi everybody. Today we are going to talk about field types in a database, specifically with regards to the different fields that you can create in FileMaker and what they're used for. All right, so what I just did right now is I pulled up the Manage Database dialog by going to File, Manage, Database. And we're going to take a look at the various fields that we can create. So to do that, we're going to make a new table and we're going to call it, uh, let's say, uh, Files. And I click Create and it appears here. So let's double click this table now. And let's look here on the bottom right. We have the type menu. And these are the various field types that you can create. The first one is a simple text field and that has uh, in a few other kinds of databases like MySQL and such these would be character fields or varchar fields or varchar as some people call them and uh, this is your standard field that you're going to use to input text data. Alright so let me create a field called uh, text field and there's really nothing special about this one. Uh, if we double click it we have a few more options that we can choose. For example, if we wanted to record the user who is creating a record, we would check this box here and choose account name. And what that's going to do is every time a new record is created, this text field will automatically have that current user's name put into that field. Now you might have noticed here that we have the name option as well. And the difference between name and account name is that name will give you whatever is in the preferences. So for example, if you go to preferences, this is the name that will appear in that file. So let's go back here and let's double click our files table and the text field and we're going to set this back to unchecked. Alright, so that's your text field. Next we have a number field and we'll call this number field. Let's create it. And a number field is different in that it's going to be interpreted as a number. So if you enter text into a number field, it will be stripped out and only the number value will be recorded. Uh, you can use this for floating numbers, for integers, or for decimals. Okay. Next we have a date field. We'll call it date field. That's pretty straightforward. You're going to enter a date uh, formatted string or a piece of text either with slashes, dashes, or even periods and FileMaker will take that as a date. Then we have a time field. Now here you can enter time in this format for example and that will be interpreted as 13 seconds or one minute. Alright, now let's take a look at our timestamp. Let's not save that. We'll choose timestamp and we'll create our timestamp field. And what is a timestamp? A timestamp is basically a string that contains the date and the time. So this is the exact time down to the second that something happened or occurred in your database. This is mostly used uh, when logging or keeping track of transactions in a database. We'll go over that a little bit more uh, in, a, in a little bit. And lastly we have a container field. Let me create a new one set this to container and hit create 
Now, a container field is a very useful type of field. You can use it to store anything that is a file. For example, if you want to have images in your database or music files, MP3s, WAV files, or even PDF files, Excel files, you name it, you can store them in a container field. Now, obviously, I should <clears throat> let you know that container fields are not searchable and you cannot enter text into them. So this is strictly for holding objects in your database. All right, we're gonna hold on calculations and summary fields because that's a little more advanced and we're gonna go ahead and play with these uh, particular fields that we created right now. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And we're gonna go to our files layout that was automatically created for us by FileMaker. And let's go to view layout mode. We're going to add our other fields. So what I'm doing here is basically uh, alt clicking or control clicking on a Mac this where you can right click it and dragging that field which will create a duplicate field and then you can change the field reference to this. Move this up a little bit, bring this one down, and we're going to stretch this one out a little bit. All right, now let's go back to view, browse mode. And if you notice here, we have a hard time seeing the boundaries of our field. So let's actually go back to layout mode, and let's select just the fields. Now what we want to do is basically enable the border first before we set it here. 